Hello everyone, today is February 18th, it is Wednesday, and uh, it's still obviously way too cold to be planting outside, and it's too early to start my seeds inside. However, I wanted to go over with you guys the peppers that I'm planning on planting this year. Now, according to my list here, <clears throat> this is last year, there are 13 varieties and there are two varieties of eggplant. This year, I'm not even bothering with eggplant. Last year, I only got one plant out of six seedlings, seedlings that I started, and I'm not bothering with that. It's just not worth it to me. Yet, last year at the market, the other vegetable vendors, no one had eggplant. Now, maybe it would be a good idea to have eggplant because then people would have to buy it from you in that sense. But no one that came to the market asked about eggplant no one asked me other vendors asked about eggplant so no eggplant this year just <clears throat> i don't like it uh my wife doesn't like it so i'm not going to grow it just to have something extra that i'd rather use the space for something more anyway this video is not about eggplant it's about peppers <clears throat> again my list here last year i want to do it the exact same way i don't have it written up yet but last year i did uh Two, four, six, eight, ten, excuse me, eleven. Eleven varieties, thirteen in total. <laughs> eleven varieties. And I seeded, I like doing it this way, it makes sense to me. I actually had the date, I seeded it. Um, the amount of cells, not seeds, the amount of cells of each variety, color coding. I'm going to do the same method this year, um, except one thing I'm going to do for sure is make sure the colors are totally different from each other. You know, red in blue are totally different colors but if you use like an orange and red they can get washed out after 10 weeks and you might not know what they are i had that issues with tomatoes last year because i had so many varieties <clears throat> when i went to plant them and sell them i had an issue with um figuring out which were which and i know i planted some of the wrong kind like in the same section as another kind all because the colors washed out now there are better methods of this but I like the popsicle stick thing, so I'm going to stick with that. So anyway, last year I started my peppers on March 16th. Today is February 18th, so we're looking at around four weeks, give or take from, from like today, from this weekend, this coming weekend. <clears throat> so that's the plan again. I want to get them in about a week earlier. So that would be, say, two weeks from this coming weekend. So about maybe 20 days from now you know something like that um now last year i said i did 11 varieties i'm not doing that last year i seeded 66 cells but when it came time to um transplant i only ended up with 40. And this is from when I, when I went to from the 72 cell flat to the little three inch cups if you remember that i'm gonna do the same method and i'll show you that once i start seeding in a few weeks <clears throat> but i only ended up with 40 which is quite poor. That's about 60% of 66 of what I planted, two thirds. Um, this year I'm hoping for a lot more than 40 pepper plants. Now, um, to get right to it, I guess, is a lot of the varieties I seeded last year, I'm not doing this year for a number of reasons. One is because when selling at the market, variety is good, but when you only have a, a maximum amount of space and again, the peppers will be planted in the greenhouse. Um, I had not any luck with planting them outside. It just, and you have to support them with stakes and it just became a problem over the years. Um, so planting for market is you want to have quantity, especially if you're going to a larger market or a new market where you're not sure what it's going to be. You know, having 11 varieties of pepper is great if you can have 11 varieties of the same amount to bring every week which that's tough when you're only having, you know, 40 plants. So that's, in theory, that's only three of each. That's not a lot. That's good for a home gardener as far as three of something, but not when you're trying to sell a market, I want to have, you know, 10. So anyway, <clears throat> this year, I have them all laid out here. I'm going to show you in a minute. I, ha I labeled it down or narrowed it down to six varieties. Only five of them will be for market. I'll start with the, <clears throat> excuse me, the bell pepper. Now, last year my bell peppers didn't do well. You've seen this uh, on videos of last year. 
So, but I'm going to grow some of these, maybe say six plants. And I like keeping things in multiples of six or three, just because of when I do my flats and my, my transplant, the rows are six by threes, 18. It's just my way of doing it. So I keep things even and it's easy for me to tell instead of saying five of one, 11 of one, two of this, three of that. It's just, I like, it's just the way I do it. So anyway, I'm saying, I'll say this to you, I'll do six of these. And then this is going to just be A, just for myself, that I can use um, to eat fresh or to cut up to store in the freezer. And B is, they're not going to be grown in containers this year. They're going to be grown in a new raised bed in the center of the greenhouse, which will face the south side of the greenhouse. So you'll have the tomatoes along the north side of the raised bed, the, tomato, the peppers along the south. That way when the sun hits it, the tomatoes are obviously going to be taller. They're going to be seven feet tall. The pepper plants, if they get to be three foot tall, that'd be great. <clears throat> but that way they're going to get all the sun and won't be blocked out like they were last year. So anyway, bell peppers just for myself. Now I'm going to get into the five varieties, which is a lot different than 10 that I'm going to plan to sell at the market. And this is in quantity. As far as exact numbers, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'll decide that once I start seeding. <clears throat> okay, basically, um, these are serrano peppers. These aren't crazy hot, um, but they're a nice flavor. They're small, maybe two, three inch, maybe half an inch in diameter. Um, but they're still a nice pepper and I have a lot of seeds these were sent to me from one of my friends in California as or a couple of these other ones actually um, but yeah serrano peppers and then the next one these are the hot hot ones these are not hot hot these are hot ones hot Hungarian wax now I think last year I had six or seven plants and they produced exceptionally well people didn't buy them so much but they produce exceptionally well so I'm gonna go right back to these again and then here I have your just ordinary jalapeno pepper. And I don't have tons of seeds here, but there's probably 30 seeds here, which is more than I'm going to plant. But jalapeno is just mildness, just a nice mild heat pepper. And they're popular. They're easy. Oh, jalapeno. Everybody heard of those jalapeno poppers and, and the whole deal. And then I'm going to go over here. I grew these last year, <clears throat> some of these, and maybe only three or four plants, if that. But I liked how they turned out. These are called New Mexico 6 Chili. These are quite mild. They're not very hot at all. They're probably less hot than a jalapeno or something like that. According to what I remember and what the research I've done online is. So basically these are longer peppers. Six inches or more. Mine last year I don't think I even got more than six inches. But again they were in containers. Once they hit two feet or so of growth, they stopped. I'm hoping getting them in the greenhouse a week or two earlier this year, as well as giving them some good nutrients, fertilizer, uh, manure, different things like that will really help boost the plant before they start setting pods. So these are New Mexico chili. And then the last but not least is the hottest ones that I'll be growing. <clears throat> these are habaneros. Now, they're red habaneros and orange ha uh, habaneros and basically as far as I know the, the taste in the heat level whatever isn't really that much different because it you know they're all they're all habaneros I mean at the end of the day if they don't turn a perfect red or perfect orange they'll still sell them as a habanero which are quite spicy pepper so that's basically my pepper video if there are any questions about the varieties or what I'm going to be doing this year with them, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And uh, catch you next time because I'm going to be talking about tomatoes and about other crops that I'm going to be growing this year, whether it be in the greenhouse or in the field, to prepare myself for market. Thanks for watching.